I honestly don't know what to say. Um, I'm, sh I'm shocked, but I'm not shocked. Um, but the real question is now, and the real issue is, can Oli survive this? Can he survive this? There's only one way for him to survive it. The only way he can survive it, and I don't know, I don't know what Michael Carrick's saying to him, and I don't know what Mickey Phelan's saying to him. Because I watch, I watch all the United Stand videos, I know the feelings of most of the fans. And I am absolutely adamant that most of the fans do not realise who the good players are. The problem we've got is Ollie doesn't realise it. Juan Mata is the only player in the th last third of the field who's got an instant first touch and has got a picture in his mind, trust me, son, he's got a picture in his mind of who he's going to give the ball to when he gets there. Time after time, he's our brightest player. And he keeps taking him off and take or not picking him. One matter has got to play every single. We've got. We've only got about 12 or 13 good players. Have we got that much? We have got 12 or 13 good players. Obviously, a couple of them are injured. Mm. We've got to pick from that small pool of players. I'm not knocking the youngsters, but mm -hmm. forget the youngsters. We tried the youngsters. Let's be honest. They weren't really good enough against Rochdale. They weren't really good enough against Astana. We've just got to pick the experienced players, the quality players. Everyone's shouting for Fred. Fred's terrible. Mm. Fred wouldn't get he had in. A terrible he, game. he wouldn't get in Watford's team in front of Decore. Mm. Or what's the other big player they've got? He mm. wouldn't get in Watford's team at the bottom of the league. Fred's terrible. Forget him. Kapoor. Yeah, 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 forget him. We've got to get McTominay and Matic as holding midfield players. That's what we've got to do. They're the only two players who are absolute decent players we now everybody slags Matic Matic is still the exact same player who's won two Premier Leagues in the last five years playing about 30 games a season 35 games he was in our team when we finished second all right we were 20 points behind City it's only the season before last at least we were the best of the rest but you think he is still that same player you don't see him as declining he's 31 since years old James Milner's 33 years old playing for Liverpool every week Matic is still the exact same player. He hasn't changed one iota. What's changed is the dross that he's playing with. And all you lads have all got it wrong. I'm telling you for a fact. And he, is, he is the player who we need in the middle of the but field. But we've seen, when, when Matic has played, we've seen um, almost this kind of same football and, hey, look, and he look, when is not quick plays, on the ball. When Matic, look, look, I've, I don't, I, you I, know I feel, are you, you know, saying he's the saviour then? No, what, I'm not, what do you I'm mean? not saying he's the saviour. Are you saying he should be playing? Yes, we've just got to pick all the better players. When Matic plays, it's no good if he's playing with, say, with the youngsters or, or if Lingard's playing. You know, it, it's all a mishmash. Like, against Leicester, we had an half-decent performance. We had McTominay and Matic in the, big, in the middle. That was our last decent performance. Right, then we got... Now, this is something else that all he's doing. We had a decent performance against Leicester. He kept it. I think it was the same team against West Ham, and it went wrong. Mm. One day he took Matic off in that yeah, game. Yeah, and Fred yeah, come on had a better game and, than him. And I've, no, he didn't. I've no? no, I've watched it flex over and over. Okay. Matic was fine. Uh, I, I, I look at this and, and I read the things that people are saying. Lots of people agree with me on there, mm. saying Matic was our best player. One guy. I don't know if you. No, it was West Ham when he was actually uh, wasn't about, when he wasn't as bad as everyone thought said one, he was. And I agree with that. Said, one guy said on, on one of the on one of the uh, things that he. Put on there, he said. I thought Matic was terrible till I rewatched it, mm. and the guy's right. Mm. Matic, Matic has got a crisper, more accurate pass, mm. and it's and that's got to spread. That, would would you say that was the, that was was that the problem today though, Rick? Was that was the fact? Are you, I feel like like you're saying, if Matic would have been in that squad, would we have seen anything you, different against you, a Newcastle to, team that are struggling? You've got to start erasing. You've got to erase what they call them in tennis. Mm. You've got to erase unforced errors. Yeah. I've rewatched the game from during the week. Um, it was it, Antmar, mm. right? Um, M Matic lost the ball slightly less than Fred did. Not by much, yeah. not by much, two or three times. But when Matic lost the ball, he was surrounded by opponents on most occasions. Fred's losing it under no pressure. Fred's doing it under, when he's, he's, at, he's got too many unforced errors. There's, there's virtually no unforced errors from Matic. We need to pick all the players who are doing it right more often. And Matic has got to be in the team every single solitary week, bar none. So was one matter, without a doubt. So you, don't, so you don't think these players are past it, then? 
No, no, they're not past it. They're not past it. And th- what about the rest then, Rick? What about what about your Rashfords? What about your Pereiras? What about your McTominys? What about your Ashley Young at fullback? Ma- Ma- what about what about Dan James who's coming Ma- in? Matt Tomlin- Matt Tomlin's going to be okay. He's, he's he's a big strong lad. Gets around the park well. He just trying to keep it simple. He's got a decent touch. Mm. Matt Tomlin's going to be okay. He needs to play next to Matic. Mm. We need we desperate. I said this the other week. We're desperate for Marshall to be fit. Yeah. Rashford. Well, it's just, it's just oh, at number nine. Well, I've, I've read, I've read this week. I think I told you the other week that that they, they've, they've said that they're practicing, the, uh, training him to try and get in the box and mm. score more scruffy goals as all. Yeah, but now there's another article this week saying that. Gareth Southgate and Jose Mourinho have said that he's no good or they did say no good mm. but he's not particularly good when he's back to goal mm. and all he's agreed with them when they're working on that mm. I was a kid come through our ranks who's, who's not very good in, by their admittance now lots of the fans are saying uh, he's low on confidence there's too much pressure on his shoulders they're not saying this they're actually saying he isn't particularly good mm. at scoring goals mm. he isn't particularly good when he's back to goal why has a kid come through our ranks and he's playing every week at centre forward if he ain't very good at those things mm. I don't get it and it's like he's been thrust into that limelight look just last year Rick mm. with if he if, we can say all what you said I get it the analysis the breakdown the, the, the scrutiny but the facts are we know football is a results game and if the results keep going as they are is Oli going to survive? Well, well, how long can they go on like this? Yeah. If they go on like this and we're in, I don't know, the bottom, we'll be in the bottom six before you know it. Yeah. I'll tell you well, something else. Health. I'll tell you something else. Today, his substitutions were awful. Awful. I know everybody knocks Ashley Young. We had three dangerous moments in a second, mm. as far as I can remember. Ashley Young chose to cross instead of shooting. Yeah, yes. Well, most, yes. most. Uh, yeah. He also, he also went past someone on the edge of the box and got hacked down. We had a free kick in a yeah. dangerous position. Yeah. Right. The other forwards, but he was not playing up front. Other forwards are fouling their players. At least he's getting fouled. We had a dangerous free kick because mm. of him. He got to the corner of the six-yard box, and there was one ball flashed in from the other side that maybe Rashford could have got on the end of. But two out of three dangerous moments were created by Ashley Young. Mm. and he drags him off you know once he dragged him off in our front six in our front six at the death we had Chong Greenwood Rashford and Fred now I know he won't play every week but this is what we finished with if those four played every week we will get relegated Mm. we will get relegated we can't score a goal with those on if you can't score a goal you come to places like this they've only got a nick one Mm. and that's what we see we we don't have to keep really listen Rick Next game, my friend. See you, mate. Nice Big thank you to you guys for watching the latest of our videos. And if you want to check out more, make sure you do that just to the right of me. We are the biggest and best Manchester United channel in the world. Make sure you check us out on all of the socials as well. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube. The socials are along the bottom. Peace.